Many of you have probably played Star Wars Squadrons for quite a while now. You've explored the single player campaign, you've done a bit of dogfighting, and you've been playing a lot of fleet battles. And with the rank zero bug being fixed a week or two ago, I think it's safe to say that you've been trying fleet battles ranked a bit differently than it was before. But for some of you who are getting a little bit bored of Star Wars Squadrons, I do bring good news. In the 2.0 patch notes that we covered in a previous video, there was a very sneaky update that was slid into the practice mode. And although it wasn't given much coverage, I honestly think this is a completely new game mode. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you gameplay of this new secret game mode you might not have heard of. But before we do that, my question of the day is, would you like to see a racing game mode in Star Wars Squadrons? In my previous video where we talked about a feature that I felt really needed to be in Star Wars Squadrons, I think a racing game mode would really fit that idea super well. So if you're curious about that video, be sure to go and check it out in the top right corner in the info card or in the description down below after this video. But with that out of the way, let's jump right into it. So this game mode is a little bit like a time trial slash racing slash obstacle course and it's only found in the practice mode. There's four different races that you can do and you obviously want to try and get the fastest time possible. So you can find this game mode in the training practice mode and here you can select which faction and difficulty you want to pick. Now take note, your difficulty will actually determine how hard one of these races will be. When playing it, it's actually really cool. So I'll definitely be showing that later in the video. So here I'm gonna be picking the X-Wing. I'm sure many of you will probably play Interceptor for these race modes, but I'm really not used to the Interceptor speed and maneuverability. So for safety and getting through this video, I'm gonna go with the X-Wing. So you can get the obstacle course slash racing mode by hitting the practice menu button and then going down to start timed obstacle course. Here you're greeted by four courses that you can play. I'm only gonna be showing you three of these because I want you guys to try these out yourself. So the first one is relatively straightforward. You go through each single checkpoint and it adds about four to five seconds to your total timer. And obviously when that timer goes down, you run out of time and it's over. And you also see the progress bar in the top there where you can see how far you've gone through the race. And some of these checkpoints really try to make you go through smaller spaces. Some of them are a lot harder than others, but this is actually the first one we're doing. And I think it's actually the easiest of the four. And I'd actually say number four is probably the hardest out of all of them. Now I'm not boosting through these because I want to just show you guys the entire track. I'm not really trying to get through this as fast as possible, but the best way about it is probably memorizing the track the best you can and just refining your speed on where any one of these maps. And when you finish, you get a little confirmation from your pilot and we can move on to the next one. The second course is Fred the Needle with the description, a course of tight gaps and even tighter turns, all navigated against the clock. Now this one I found a little bit hard, not too hard, but it was definitely doable in one try. But obviously this map, follows the name and you're going through some really small spaces. The trouble I had with this map is just going over obstacles when I needed to go through it. Like I must be nearly blind, but there were some parts of this course where I thought I can't get through that and just moved over it and then I didn't get the checkpoint. But obviously the biggest threat to this race is not hitting the debris or the environment and crashing and dying. And as you can see in this race, or as you will see in this race, there are some really tight places that you need to weave through. And although you might not see it yet, but I do take damage in this course as well and actually nearly die. So just a heads up, I am shortening these down because I don't want to show you the whole course. I really want you guys to play it out yourself because there is a lot of fun to be had in this game mode. We did it. But next up, and the final one, is Bait the Giant. A timed run course through debris fields while under the fire of the enemy flagship. Now, that one sounds quite ominous, but when you play through this one, you will definitely see. So what starts off as a normal course, suddenly you have this MC-75 just jump straight in. And obviously, you're only going to need to weave through it as best as possible. But obviously, for me, I hit the turbo laser turret, and then I just go flying and die. You can restart the course really easily by going into the practice menu, hitting stop the course and then starting a new one. And we're going to start bait the giant again and this time hopefully play a little bit more safer. Now, when I really come to think of it, this is actually a really cool idea and it's a shame they only do it for one map. Not only are you trying to navigate through an MC-75, you're also trying to survive and hit through the checkpoint. Playing as a TIE fighter, this was actually kind of stressful because not only do you get fired at, you actually get tracked to be. 
And not only that, you have missiles coming after you and you only have a certain amount of countermeasures. So if you want this to be really tough, you probably just want to go with sensor jammer where you only have one countermeasure. Here I'm using the particles, so I actually have three chances. But what I really like about this is that it changes up how a race is supposed to be. You're also being fired upon like you would be in normal squadrons gameplay, but also trying to do a different objective other than take down the flagship. I think it adds another layer or another depth to this game mode and i'd love to see more of this because this race really forces you to get up close and personal with the mc75 and here you actually see me make a mistake where i'm panicking because i'm being fired upon so i have to go all the way around again and then i die again of course but don't worry this third attempt i actually do succeed at it i'm not going to waste your time with more failed events here i'm actually just going to get to it but a course like this really wishes i could see maybe some other ships that you see in single player come into the mix or maybe have some fighters try and chase you down whilst you're trying to do this race. Or maybe there could be multiple flagships and you really want to avoid getting tractor beamed in certain positions. So you're really forced to stay low or stick to a very small route. But either way, this was pretty tense and I actually really enjoyed it. Yes, you could probably cheese it with reflect hull. But the point is, how difficult do you want this to be and how fast can you complete it in the most difficult setting? That's my opinion anyway. So after completing it, I do want to try it out with the New Republic ship. Because I was wondering, was there other race modes for the New Republic only? And with further inspection, there is only four courses shared between the two factions. But after finding out that, what really interested me was how the fourth race could completely change for me. That means meaning I'm not having to weave around an MC-75, I'm having to weave around an ISD. And when choosing for Bait the Giant course, it does indeed show an ISD. Now, I didn't get through this entirely, but this race definitely forces you to be much closer to the ISD compared to the MC-75, most likely because of its shape. At first I thought, well, Empire is just gonna be more difficult because you have no shields to regen. But when I really came down to it, I was getting fired upon a lot more from the ISD and a lot further away. So I can definitely see the balance between both factions and when i mentioned what difficulty will choose how difficult this race will be now you get it i was playing on a pretty easy game mode here imagine playing this race mode on ace that's something i'm really interested to see but yeah that is the secret game mode in star wars squadrons why don't you give it a go and i'm really interested if you actually already knew about this I did see it in the patch notes. I thought it was interesting, but I didn't really touch upon it. So when I decided, oh, that exists, I should go and check it out. It was a lot more cooler than I expected it to be. I thought it was just going to be like this custom one map where you have one course and that's it. But no, I'm actually genuinely impressed with what they did. And it comes back to the fact that imagine if they had custom courses every week that you could try. And there was a leaderboard of who did it the fastest. And if you get into the top three or top ten, you get rewards based on your position. Like glory or or certain helmets or cosmetics. Imagine if the developers just quickly put together 50 races across all six or seven maps, and each week we got to test out a new race. Even if you decided to do half that, you could probably spread these out across a whole year, keeping the game super fresh for everybody that wants to play. Personally for me, if there was a leaderboard, that would really drive me to try and get the best time I possibly could. But let me know if you knew about this game mode. But let me know what you think about my idea of having these leaderboards and new races each week. I have that idea and many more in greater detail in my previous video which is this feature could make Star Wars Squadrons last for years. I mentioned it at the beginning of the video and of course if you want to watch it it's in the info card in the top right or in the pinned comment down below. And finally our question of the day which is would you like a racing mode in Star Wars Squadrons? See look at that I managed to uh, piece everything together a whole circle wow. But other than that I've been Charlie you've been watching X2 and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.